hit that beat. How's it going everybody welcome back this is ghost of sparta here with another fantastic review for you of the sh figure arts dragon ball z hercule or in the japanese version mr satan big fan of that name you know i like the original name the the japanese anime made it a lot better now this figure comes straight from the motherland itself japan and the way you know this is one, you can see the little gold sticker that's on the right side, right there. And also it comes in the Japanese shipper box. Now, I don't know the much history of why they ship in a little sh shipper box, but I think it has to do with that they actually ship the figures in that box to your home when you buy it from whatever retailer you buy it from. So with that said, you can see the packaging here. You saw the B-roll. Now let's get into this awesome review. And we're back. So we have Mr. Satan out of his cardboard prison. And we have B there with him looking all excited and cute. So we're going to take a look at this figure's articulation, paint apps, and then we'll go into the accessories right after that. And then if you stay tuned and wait till the end, I'll have a nice little section. We'll have nice pictures of Mr. Satan and all the possible poses he'll have. And if you're new to this channel and you haven't been here before, just to let you know a little bit about myself, I'm Ghost of Sparta. I do reviews on action figures and I'm going to show you guys if these are worth to be in your collection. Okay, so I mean, I usually just do, you know, Japanese import figures as of right now, but I also do some of the domestic figures. So I have a variety of different things. I'll put a little link to my playlists below in the description and also I'll put a little card somewhere on the right hand corner I believe it is or the left or one of those corners you'll be able to see my other videos that I have for you and you can like those as well you know so if you guys for being here I appreciate it so if you can hit that like button if you can subscribe and also remember to hit the bell icon so that way you won't miss another video would be super awesome you know the support from you guys is what this channel needs and I would really appreciate it so let's go forward with the review let's take B out of the way and just focus on Mr. Satan here so we have Mr. Satan here looking all nice and you know Mr. Satan he like and the paint apps on him oh just dropped his hand just popped right off Boop. all right pop that back in so he looks great I mean he's a great figure from from what it looks like right here let me try to see if I can get the brightness a little up for you guys so you guys can see everything perfect all right cool so this is a very nice figure he has a ton of accessories so I want to start off with uh, taking off the faces all you have to do is just pull down and the face comes right off and then you just push it right back in done so to remove the cape you just pop off the neck joint which comes off pretty easily the cape is pegged in the back as you can see just pop that out bam the cape is gone you can display him without the cape just fine just pop that back in and you're good to go Bob's your uncle so with that being said he also has three belts he can wear that are right here is one of them the nice championship belt here he's like oh yeah uh, I defeated Cell but anyways I digress so to pop that out his torso comes off as so you just got to be careful because there's like a little nub right here inside so you got to make sure that that goes into this little hole right here and then the belt comes off as so so you can display him with the belt you can display him with his uh karate belt or i don't think i think he has to wear a belt regardless yeah there's no way you can display him without a belt so just keep that in mind um because then you'll have you know that gapage there and you don't want that when you're displaying your figures so the paint apps on this figure is really good they got the 
the shade of skin color for his face and his chest they all match which i like take a look at the back there is a little piece for the accessories that comes that taps in there so i don't want you to think that you're gonna have a figure with a big hole in it so let me get that piece for you guys so i can show you how that works because i have it right here on the side so bear with me if you don't mind Alrighty, so the piece just tabs in as so so that way it's a solid figure again bam look at that he doesn't have no hole whatsoever in his back so with mr satan here let's take a look at his articulation see how far he can look up that's about as far as you can look up he can look down pretty far and that's with the neck joint let's just do it without the neck joint that's as far as you can look down and then with the neck joint so he has full rotation of the arms he also has a nice little um, socket there little butterfly joint gives him a little extra range so he can bring his arms around his chest then you also have a bicep swivel uh, excuse me bicep swivel and then you have uh, I want to say double jointed elbows but it feels like it's one and it barely gets 90 degrees just barely you know we do want a little bit more that's about as much as it's gonna go right there no uh, forearm swivel but we do get a wrist peg comes off like that oh that's not supposed to happen Oop, there we go so a little double peg wrist joint it's pretty good all right so we also have the diaphragm joint here so he can lean back pretty far lean forward pretty good let's see no gapage in the back no gapage in the back that's what i like the belt kind of conceals most of it but you can get some dynamic poses with him leaning forward so we also have a waist swivel as we saw because you know the belt was able to become take off be removed so we do have that now for his legs to be articulated to move forward this little loin cloth part of his gi uh, does get in the way it gets in the way really a lot look at it. it hinders the articulation of the foot i mean if you're gonna make an action figure i would rather it have full articulation so they need a this was just a little bit more softer because it's pretty much really tight because of the way that the gi is shaped so he can't he could kick further up but the gi is uh in, you know preventing that completely so he could and then see how far he kicks back so we got some good range there we got double jointed knees and these knees look great from the older figures from the 1.1 goku and piccolo these knees look pretty good i think they're using the technology they used for boo um and who else had these knees i think the 2.0 gokus they, they they decided to use this instead of leaving that nasty gap that was right there so that's pretty good no uh calf swivel but we do get a ankle swivel a little bit of ankle rocker we got a toe hinge which is great and we have the ankle rocker once this, once again like i said so that's the articulation as for you know like the paint i don't see any paint bleed on my figure it looks very clean there is some slight shading which is where they darken certain creases so it gives it more of a pop effect to it you know because like light shining onto it so it would make like a nice little shadow effect so there is some shading very small amount i'm, I'm starting to notice that they're really um chimping out on the whole shading aspect so we have mr satan here now let's take a look at the accessories he has and so let's take a look at those and one two three all right cool so we're back and we got the heads right here you know sorry for that you know crazy trip you guys took you know speeding around but it's fast you know you don't have to wait for me to pull out the accessories or anything like that so we have the four faces here of hercule um we can take a look at each one here's the face that was inside the packaging um that he comes in you know his just serious face looking straight forward you can see the paint is great on these uh faces there's no black you know on the flesh tones there's not no paint bleeding over the eyes look very anime-esque you can see that right there let's look at his yelling face here you can see look at his eye color there is blue can make that up so they actually painted his eyes in the mouth has great detail you can see the teeth they have each little sculpted individual tooth you can see the tongue you know they're just beautiful they're beautiful all the way so you have you know his surprised face here with his eyes bulging out 
from the most iconic scene from Dragon Ball Z and his teeth all clenched together. You can see that the, they sculpted the line in, you got the stubble on his chin. Great, great attention to detail with all of these heads here. You can see the mouth there. So you get four hit faces all together. And like, it, like I showed earlier, they just slide right in onto the figure. And so those are all four of the faces you get in the packaging. Now, let's take a look at the hands that you get in the spot in this uh, packaging here. Ready, set. All right, we're back. So if you take a look here, you can see all the hands that Mr. Satan comes with. He has three pairs of hands that are, you know, both have a left and a right. And then he has two extra hands, which is his thumbs up and his pointing finger, as you can see there. So I'm gonna start from left to right. You got a fisted hand, you got the thumbs up hand, you have his, I wanna say like a slight gripping martial arts pose hand. You have the victory or two, or, you know, let me cut in line hand, or, you know, however you wanna say that gesture, it's, you know, the peace sign as well. Then you have his pointing finger, and then once again, his fisted hand again. So those are all the hands you get inside of the package. I mean, if you look at each hand, they have the hair on his, on the top of his hand painted out really well. So you could see that, and all of them have about the same amount of marks on there. I mean, I didn't count each individual one, but they paid attention to enough detail to make sure that each hand had it. I mean, how many times have you bought in a figure where they only have it on one set of hands and the other hands, they don't have anything? So that's that with the hands. So let's bring Mr. Hercule out one more time and then we will conclude this review. So let's, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Take a look right here, Mr. Hercule, doing what Mr. Hercule likes to do. You know, say that he's ready for victory, points at people. Shouts a bunch of names. It's just what Hercule does. So let's take a look at B real quick. I didn't, I forgot to mention him. He's actually articulated. He does have a ball joint on his head, which is great. You can see there. And so he can spin his head all the way around. Wish he had a little bit more articulation, but what do you say? There's B there. Look, oh my God, look at those eyes, how painted they are. Very great little accessory. So you can have him with Mr. Who as well. So. My opinion on this figure, it was great. It has a lot of accessories, you know, tons of hands, tons of faces. You know, I forgot to mention the belts. Here's one of the other belts here with the eagle on it that he has. And then he has his normal white belt because, you know, he's doesn't really know martial arts. Just kidding. Yeah, we all know Hercule knows about the dynamite kick. All right. So those are the three accessories that came with him in the box. So, I mean, if you're going to complete your Dragon Ball Z you know figures yes great get them i mean if you want you know some other figure to pose with other figures great get them you know those are the only things i could see about picking up this figure if you just want the main characters and get the main characters i mean i'm a completist i like to purchase my figures try to complete the whole series but it's a great figure i wouldn't mind picking it up you guys shouldn't mind picking it up you know so there's a lot of talk about where to buy these figures you can go online and buy them i'm not going to mention any you know websites or anything like that or places because you know they don't partner up with me it'd be great so if you guys hearing out there want to partner up with me so i can you know shout out your guys's business great hit me up send me an email you know have them come talk to me it would be great um but if you guys want some locations on where to buy these figures you guys can uh, hit me up in the comments or you can private message me or you can get me on my uh, Facebook account or you can get me on my Instagram account go ahead and just uh, in the description below there's a link to those so that way you can say take a look at that so without further ado I give this figure a awesome review it's just awesome you know it hasn't made it didn't make it to the fantastic that you know some of the other figures are it's just an awesome figure great paint apps great amount of accessories you know it's just one of those characters that they could have done way down the line i mean there's still a lot of characters that i wish they would still do i mean they could have done the first form of cell second form of cell frieza's first form second form third form you know those are ones that a lot of the fans are waiting for you know they could have done uh what's his name this pink real big fat Deborah. also uh they could have done too i mean there, there's a lot of uh other figures that they could have done 
you know, Hercule being on, on one of the lists, they could have done that way later or brought, brought him in with a two pack or something like that. So once again, this figure is very awesome. So if you, like I said before, guys, if you guys are new or if you guys, you know, if you guys can help support the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe. Remember to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any other updates on videos and check out all this beautiful, sweet, fantastic B-roll of this figure. Enjoy. Thank you.